Hello everyone and welcome back to Coach Craig's Sports. Today is Wednesday, September 28th, and this is the MLB DFS video for today. So in today's video, I'll be going over a recap of yesterday's picks, seeing how they turned out. Talking about my core plays for today, it is a 12-game slate once again, which is a little bit unusual for Wednesday, but since there was not a lot of games on Monday, a lot of games got pushed back to today. So it is a larger slate overall. And then after that, we'll be talking about my top GPP stacks for today as well. My article is not yet published over at webetats.com, but once that is available, I'll leave a link to that down in the comments below. But without further ado, we'll get started with a recap of yesterday's picks. At the pitcher position, we had Carlos Carrasco, $9,500. He had pitched very, very well versus the Miami Marlins pretty much all season. He had four starts versus them. Three of them were very, very good. Yesterday, unfortunately, he got lit up by the Marlins, which I don't think anybody really seen coming. So he ended up with three points, and he was a mess yesterday. Then at first base, we had Ryan Mountcastle at $2,700. Got to 15.5 points, so he was a hit. We had Jeff McNeil at second base, or outfield, just depending on where you played him. He was $2,600. Got to 9.2 points, so he was a hit as well. Then we had his teammate in the outfield, and Brandon Nimmo at $3,500. Got to 6.2 points, so he was a push. Not anybody that helped you line up yesterday, but not anybody that killed you at the same time. And then last but not least, we had Teoscar Hernandez, who had that pretty good history yesterday going against Jameson Tyon. Unfortunately, Tyon pitched pretty well yesterday overall. And Teoscar Hernandez ended up with zero points. He was a mess, and he went over three overall on the day. So not really a good day for the Blue Jays team or Teoscar Hernandez in general. It's kind of been that way for him throughout this year, whether you're getting the zero points or the big day. It's kind of not really much in between. Unfortunately, we got the downside yesterday. So a little bit more unfortunate day yesterday, especially considering our pitcher busted. But it's always a good idea to mix and match some different pitchers in there as well. So if you got wind of one that was a little bit better, still had a chance to cash, but might have been a little bit more difficult if we went with Carrasco and you didn't have as good of hitters otherwise. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to the core picks for today. So we're going to start off with the pitcher position. Going with Aaron Nola today at $10,300, averaging about 38 fantasy points per game on the season. Goes against the Chicago Cubs today. Should be a pretty favorable matchup for him as well. He has decent history versus the Chicago Cubs hitters in the past. He has not pitched against them this year, though, so that's something to keep in mind. And if you don't want to play Aaron Nola, you could look at Brandon Woodruff. He's been pitching very, very well. He's at $10,600, although his starts versus the Cardinals this year have been pretty mediocre, but does have some upside there and he doesn't have the worst history versus them as well so if that's somebody you want to play instead of Aaron Nola, you can definitely do that if you want to build a couple similar lineups and then just kind of switch the pitchers out you can definitely do that as well and then on the lower end you could look at Taiwan Walker pitching against the Marlins I'm just a little off of it today after the whole Carlos Carrasco thing and then Michael Lorenzen's down there versus the Oakland A's he has two good starts for them this year but he's only had three starts back from the IL and not pitching too, too deep in the games at this point in time. So a little bit off of him today, but would understand if you want to save some money and pay down to him as well. Then we move down to second base with Glaber Torres at $3,200. Averaging about 10 fantasy points per game on the season. Goes against the Toronto Blue Jays and Mitch White today. He's actually 0 for 2 versus Mitch White. But Glaber Torres has a hit in 14 out of his last 16 games. Dude's been on fire as of late. $3,200 is not a bad price tag by him by any means. While it's a matchup that he has very limited sample size in, it's still a matchup that he could take advantage of rather easily today versus this Toronto team. Then we move down to third base with Justin Turner at $3,000, averaging over 10 fantasy points per game on this season. Goes against the San Diego Padres. It's Joe Musgrove pitching today, and Musgrove's a pretty good pitcher, but he has struggled quite a bit against the Dodgers and Justin Turner specifically as he is 6 for 14 versus him with three home runs. So definitely has some upside there. Definitely worth taking a chance on once again today. Then we move down to the outfield with Hunter Renfro at $2,900. Going against Jose Quintana of the St. Louis Cardinals today. Quintana has one good start and one bad start versus the Brewers this year. Hunter Renfro is 3 for 12 with two home runs versus him. So a little bit of downside there, but the upside there is great overall as well. So hopefully it's a home run once again today. He has three home runs in his last three games. So definitely has a good chance of doing that once again today. And a guy that does hit left-handed pitching pretty well for power as well. Then last but not least, we have Jack Peterson at $2,600 going against the Colorado Rockies and Jose Urena today. He is 9 for 15 with one home run versus Urena in his career. And three out of his last four games have been multi-hit games, so there's a little bit of upside there. A really cheap pay-down option for a guy that's expected to be in the middle of the order for this Giants team overall today. So do like taking 
taking some chances on some upside with Jack Peterson today overall. Definitely an interesting core that is here today, but if you go with these five guys, you have $13,000 remaining, just over $3,200 per player. So you definitely have some room to pay up if that's something you really want to do. There's some pretty good value options today. A couple of guys that are cheaper than they normally would, like a guy like Mookie Betts is $3,200. Yes, he's been struggling a little bit as of late, but a guy that has decent history versus Joe Musgrove, obviously the talent's there, so can take some shots on guys like that today. Or if you want to pay up and then kind of pay down for some other value, you can definitely do that as well. If you want to take a little bit more balanced approach, that's definitely viable too. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to my top GPP stacks for today. So once again, my article is not yet published over at webetats.com. But once that is available, I'll leave a link to it down in the comments below. So in terms of the stacks that I do have for today, we have the New York Yankees going against Mitch White of the Toronto Blue Jays. Not a lot of history here, but some of these hitters have hit him pretty well in that limited history as well. Otherwise, you know it's the Yankees lineup. There's always some upside there. Definitely interest in them against a subpar pitcher in Mitch White overall. Then we have the Boston Red Sox going against Dean Kramer of the Baltimore Orioles. They have pretty decent history versus Kramer in the past. Kramer's kind of been hit or miss so far this season. So if he has a bad day, going to want some Red Sox once again. And this series has been a lot, a lot of runs being scored at this point in time. So the bullpens might be a little bit more deteriorated as well. Then we move over to the Dodgers. Talked about them a little bit already versus Joe Musgrove. They've had a lot of history versus him. A lot of these hitters have hit him well in the past. He's had one good start and one bad start versus them this season. If he has another bad start versus them, could be another good day for this Dodgers team overall. Probably still going to be a pretty popular stack altogether, though. And then last but not least, we have the Milwaukee Brewers. Kind of in the same situation as the Dodgers. They have a pretty decent lineup. Quintana's has had one good start and one bad start versus them so far this year, but they do hit left-handed pitching pretty well typically. So guys like Hunter Renfro, Willie Adamas, those are the guys that already have history versus Quintana, and they're the ones that typically hit left-handed pitching pretty well as well. But with that being said, these are my core five picks as well as top GPP stacks for today, September 28th. As always, if you have any questions related to MLB DFS, be sure to leave them down in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Also, be sure to let me know your favorite play on tonight's slate, whether it's someone from my core five picks, whether it's someone from my top GPP stacks, or whether it's a completely different player you guys think I missed. Definitely interested in hearing what you have to say. But with that being said, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. Helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your DFS. Primarily MLB and NFL DFS at this point in time, but once we get back around to the NBA regular season, I will be covering that as well. And then with that being said, if you are a newer current subscriber who's yet to do so, also be sure to hit that notification button down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, I post up daily MLB DFS videos just like this. Those will be ending pretty shortly as the regular season comes to an end. Got the NFL DFS core pick video coming out as well. I did an impromptu stream for the Monday night football single game showdown slate over on DraftKings. Going to hope to do that same thing tomorrow night for the Thursday night game as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. If there's any other content you'd like to see for MLB or NFL DFS, be sure to let me know as well. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And then last but not least, special shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Definitely means a lot to me and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.